Hey, what's up, guys? It's Super here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again on this beautiful Friday. I'm not even going to say to you, you guys should like and subscribe. I'm going to just get right into the video, okay? The Call of Duty community has changed for the absolute worst. I'm going to be talking about how the community is now compared to back then, what people are doing now as creators, the fake content, all that shit, okay? Because it's getting absolutely ridiculous, dude. Listen, the Call of Duty community it's at its worst it's ever been, in my opinion. I've been in the Call of Duty community since I was four years old in 2009. Since Modern Warfare 2. Okay, shout out to Rico and Kyle for getting me on that. But back then, when I was watching Call of Duty videos, people like Chris Smoove, T. Martin, Ali A, some of them were faking live commentaries, faking their gameplay. SS Sniper Wolf, she had her husband at the time, her boyfriend at the time, play the game, have it pre-recorded for her, and she would fake the live commentary. And he would also manipulate the matchmaking by reverse boosting before the actual gameplay. She got exposed for it. She got kicked out of it. She got kicked out of the Call of Duty community. Ali A faked his live commentaries. Kicked out of the Call of Duty community for a couple of years. People like Chris Smoove. Hey, if you don't know who Chris Smoove is, don't talk to me, okay? He's an absolute pioneer for gaming videos on YouTube, man. He made commentaries that weren't live. The re gameplay was already recorded. He would just talk over the gameplay and just talk about things. And or he would have live commentary sometime. He never faked a video of his. He never manipulated the matchmaking at all. Like it is Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and BO2 and BO1 gameplays. Never faked one. And everyone loved him in the Call of Duty community. Phase Jeb, Phase Raid. All the Phase guys didn't cut commentaries. All legit videos, all live, all legit lobbies. Everyone loved them. If you faked your videos in any way by having, you know, bot lobbies, reverse boosting, faking your live commentary, and lying about how the video is actually made and all that stuff. If you were caught doing any of that, you literally stopped getting support for the Call of Duty community and you were banished to the Shadow Realm, okay? But comparing that to whatever the Call of Duty community is now, it's pathetic. We as a community now are at its worst. We are at its worst it's ever been. We are supporting creators who openly VPN, cheat, use unlock tools, reverse boost, manipulate the matchmaking, fake their videos. We are openly supporting that and we're not doing anything about it. We are encouraging and defending. We are openly defending faking videos, faking your gameplay, faking your commentaries, faking your lobbies, VPNs, reverse boosting, cheating, and lock tools. We're openly supporting it. And I don't know why. Why are we doing it? What the hell? The hardcore Call of Duty fans from 10 years ago, if they were here today, People would start crying that they're getting canceled, that they're fucking losing all the supporters, making no money from this YouTube shit anymore. I'm telling you right now, 80% of the creators who are doing this YouTube shit full time from the class setup videos, from the Warzone movement guys, from commentary people, all of them would have no supporters if we had the Call of Duty community that we had 10 years ago. Like, for example, Mark of a Hero. I saw a good friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber, right? The Rick Cod, talk about him. I had never watched this guy before. I didn't even know who he was. I didn't even know who he looked like. I didn't even know who Mark of a Hero was, right? I tuned into his Twitch stream with about 40 to 50 viewers at the time, right? It only peaked at 60. With my friend, we were there for an hour because I wanted to show him, like, this is what Call of Duty has become. Every time he loaded up into a new game, within the seven to eight to nine matches that I watched, every single time, he would hide his screen. He would hide his screen. What he only has 40 to 60 viewers right? More like 40 to 50. I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt here. But this guy, Mark of a Hero, hit his screen multiple times when he doesn't have any stream snipers and he had complete bot lobbies. And the worst part about it, other YouTubers are doing it. X Pro MZM. I was, I was, support, I was watching him during Modern Warfare 2 2022. His class ups were good, but he was faking his gameplay. So I stopped watching him. And uh, when I tuned into a stream for once, a couple months ago, he was hiding his screen as well. And the thing is, the best part about it is they say to go back to their live streams. You fuckers, you guys who fake their gameplays, you guys that manipulate the matchmaking, that VPN, reverse boost, all that shit, two box. You guys literally unlist and delist your streams from Twitch, from YouTube, all that stuff. Go to my streams when I fucking crash it and shit. Go to Rick streams. They're all still there because we're playing legit lobbies. I am sick and tired of the Call of Duty community openly still supporting and defending skill-based matchmaking, VPNing, reverse boosting, cheating, using unlock tools, all that shit. 10 years ago, all these YouTubers like XPro, MZM, Mark of a Hero, whatever the fuck his name is, okay? The YouTubers that fake all their shit, they're fake their whole entire personality, their videos, their matchmaking, all that shit that manipulated, they would have literally got no views. 
at all. If we had the Call of Duty community that we had 10 years ago, the only yeah. ways to manipulate the matchmaking in your favor without cheating, in my opinion, is by playing in the morning and playing in unpopulated servers and playlists and game modes. That's the only legit way. But the people who actively reverse boost VPN, all that stuff, that use third-party softwares, you guys are still cheating. And I'm not gonna lie, for reverse boosting, you guys do got me there. You, it's technically not in the enforcement and security policy and nor the terms of use, I believe, for Activision. But just like in other communities in society, in the world, like let's say for the NBA 2K community, which I used to be a part of from about 2017 all the way to 2021, we had a rule where you just don't fake your greeds and lie about your green lights when every time, every time you shot the ball. Another hidden rule about the NBA 2K community, you don't dox people. That was a huge thing. You could go over to Agent Zero, a member of AMP now, right? He would make drama videos talking about these guys that were either cheating in tournaments. Oh my God, that's a huge thing. Cheating in tournaments was a, such a huge thing in NBA 2K that everyone despised. For example, Hank the Tank, I still don't know to this day if he was cheating or not, but you could VPN on NBA 2K during these tournaments and say that you're in China and get easier lobbies. And everyone despised people who did that. Fake videos in NBA 2K, like fake VC glitches or unlock tools and all that stuff right? People will just openly dislike the video, comment down like, yo, you're, you're a loser, all that stuff. And people will just not watch them. Why can't the Call of Duty community do that? Why can't they, come on, why can't we do that? Why are we still, to this day, 2024, because it's gotten worse. The Call of Duty has turned for the worst for the past three years now. Why are we still openly supporting and defending, reverse boosting, faking your content, faking everything, manipulating the matchmaking, all that stuff? Getting easier lives. Why are we? Why are we defending that, man? Why? Why? What? What, what triggered this transition? Another hidden rule in society and in other communities, right? At the gym, I actively go to the gym. I injure myself, but dude, like, dude, like, I've sweated over this shit because I'm passionate about it, man. I want to see this community thrive. But like, dude, like at the gym, a hidden rule that everyone follows. After you use equipment, if you're sweaty or you're not sweaty, you wipe that shit down. Back then, ten years ago, for the Call of Duty community. If you faked your gameplay, you faked your videos, you manipulated the matchmaking in some way, you reverse boost. If you did something that was considered cheating by the Call of Duty community, you would lose all your viewers, everything. You would lose everything. And that should be happening now. I don't know why, as a community, why we're still supporting these YouTubers and content creators, these streamers, all these good players that reverse boost, VPN, unlock tool, cheat in any way that's considered cheating in other communities i don't know why we're why we're still defending them man because there's still people that are openly making videos saying reverse boosting is not cheating it's not under the activist. no there's a hidden rule in call of duty and in other games that you just don't manipulate the matchmaking and you play real lobbies and i'm telling you guys right now as a community what are we doing are we dumb are we fucking stupid what made us change our our, our judgment from when 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 we found out a youtuber was faking their commentaries or getting easier lobbies we would literally just straight up stop supporting him or kick them out of the community. What happened to that community? What happened to that Call of Duty community? Because even as a four-year-old, I knew that getting into your lobbies, reverse boosting, VPNing, faking your videos was a bad thing. Why can't we do that anymore? I don't know what's happened to the Call of Duty community, but I'm, I'm done. I'm out. Drop a like, subscribe, peace. Fucking hell.